today we're here uh, to talk about something that's going to help you manage apple scab uh, in the next growing season. It's inoculum reduction. What we're doing is we're getting rid of scab that would otherwise overwinter on the apple leaves. There's basically three ways to do that. Um, the first is applying urea to leaves when they're still on the tree. The second is to apply urea when the leaves have fallen and they're on the ground. And then the third that we're not really going to get into now is using uh, a flail chopper or mower to chop the leaves up. And all of these methods are designed to make the leaves break down more quickly. Uh, microbes, earthworms, other organisms uh, need nitrogen and in, when the leaves have extra nitrogen in them, it stimulates the growth of those microbes, the leaves break down. When the leaves break down, then the scab won't be able to survive. That method, just using the urea application, either on the tree or on the ground, is enough to reduce inoculum from a low end of about 50% up to 80%. If you combine that with flail chopping, so you do both of them, then you can get up over 90% inoculum reduction, which will really help out with scab management the next year. The applications of urea should be made uh, relatively dilute, about 100 gallons per acre. And you want to get good coverage on the trees, you want to make sure that the leaves are able to absorb that nitrogen. This won't be a problem with cold hardiness, uh, that's a rumor uh, that's out there, but tests have shown over and over, if anything, the late season application uh, of nitrogen to leaves that are on the tree will actually help uh, the tree health the next growing season. So, if you are able to get out there and put that urea on, then it will ultimately make scab management the next season much easier. When you're using urea to help manage scab to break down uh, apple leaves, then you should use feed grade urea. Feed grade urea dissolves much more easily than fertilizer urea and uh, makes your life a lot easier. You can use the fertilizer urea, but uh, we highly recommend feed grade. Uh, you can either dissolve it directly by dumping the urea into the strainer in the spray tank and then running your hose over it and making sure that it's dissolving as it goes in. Or if you're having a difficult time getting it to dissolve, then you can use a bucket and some hot water and dump it into the bucket and stir it up and get it dissolved there and then dump that into the tank. Either way, you just want to make sure you've got it into solution so that you uh, won't be clogging spray nozzles. Uh, you want to use uh, about 40 pounds of urea per 100 gallons, and you want to spray uh, 100 gallons on an acre, about 100 gallons on an acre. You want to make sure you get good coverage, and so that's why we recommend that relatively dilute gallonage. Mm -hmm.